Hey everybody, it's Jeremy with Web Marketing Hero, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to merge duplicate pages on Facebook. And by the time you're done watching this video, you'll have the ability to merge duplicate pages. You'll know how to claim a page, you'll know what pitfalls to look out for when you're going through this process. And finally, you're going to benefit from the consolidation of all those various Facebook pages so you're not spreading your brand and your fans all around, you're consolidating them into one place that's easier for you to maintain and easier for your fans to interact with you. So let's get right to it. So before you begin, you need to check three things to make sure that the two pages you want to merge are actually going to be able to be merged together. The first thing is that you're an admin on both of the pages that you want to merge. So here's one page we're going to merge, and we're an admin here, and another one, boom, admin. Uh, you know this because we're looking at the admin panel here. Secondly, make sure that the page name is similar. Now Facebook uses quotes similar, and in most cases, as long as it's pretty darn close, you're going to be fine. So this is Community Montessori School CMS, and over here, this is Community Montessori School. So Facebook considers these uh, similar enough that it's going to allow us to merge these two pages. The last thing you want to check is that if you are a uh, place page with a physical address, you need to make sure that the two addresses match up. So once you have those three things checked, admin, similar page name, address, you should get the merge page link. And in this case, we have that link, and I'm going to show you how to merge the two pages uh, when everything goes nice and smoothly. So let's go ahead and do it. The most important thing to know, and the thing that you do not want to get wrong, is that you want to go to the page that you want to keep, the one with the most likes. So in this case, um, let me go back up to view page, and come over here to this one, and view page. So this is the official page. This is the one we want to keep. So as you can see, this is the one that has all the content on it, great. And now this is the page that we want to merge into it. Um, that's just basically taking up room on Facebook and confusing people. So you go to the page that you want to keep. Come over here to Edit Page, Update Info, Resources, and here's the link that you're looking for. Merge Duplicate Pages. Click that, and here it is. It knows that this is the duplicate page that you want to uh, merge into it. And that's the one we just showed you. That's the one that's right up here. So we go ahead and click that. Now here's the warning, and basically you can read it right here. But essentially, the check-ins and the likes from the page that you are merging, the page you do not want to keep, uh, are all going to be merged over into the page you want to keep. So great, you get more likes, you're going to get the check-ins coming over. However, Anything that you've ever done, such as, you know, it says here, wall posts, photos, anything like that, any content that you've added to that page that you do not want to keep, that's going to be permanently deleted. So just know that going in, that you're going to lose all that content. And that's usually fine, because usually these pages are just kind of junk pages. So in most cases, that's not going to bother you. And when you're ready, go ahead and just click the Merge checkbox there and click Merge Pages. And it says, um, blah, 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 another final warning and go ahead and click the Merge Pages button. And it says these pages have been successfully merged. So now you want to double check that everything went smoothly. So again, we're on the page that we wanted to keep. Let's go back to View Page. And there's everything still looking great. Now come over here, and this is the page that we essentially got rid of. And let's go ahead and refresh that. See, it's no longer there. So that's how you do it when everything goes nice and smoothly, that you have all these things set up correctly, you have that Merge Page link, great. Now let's investigate what happens when you don't have that merge page link and you need to find out how to try to get it. And we'll take a look at that in the next video.